ability to draw strength from experiencing memories, and the power to revitalize blood springs. Both unprecedented. Sorry, but could I get a sample of your blood? We might understand more if we analyzed it. It won't be much, just a small vial, so you won't need to worry about bloodthirst. It'll take a while to get the results. Take it easy in the room back there while you wait. can to look into your talents, and have confirmed something surprising. Revenants have blood types that differ from those of humans. These types greatly affect a revenant's abilities. However, your blood has no specific type. Or maybe more accurately, your type is broken. Your abilities, and the fact that you have no specific type, might be due to your being what we call a void type. You were able to gain another Revenant's power through a Vestige, right? That phenomenon is unique to Void types. Supposing you are a Void type, there's a test I'd like to perform. Don't worry, you'll get something out of it. I'm going to give you some of my blood. If my theory is correct, it should act as a medium that will give my power to you. Well, here goes. Did you go visit Murasame and Koko? They should be ready to do business now. Weapons and blood veils are vital parts of a Revenant's kit when exploring. You should take another look at them. If you've got materials, upgrade and transform them. Once you've got that settled, talk to me again, and we'll continue where we left off. All Revenants carry some stone. Oh, good timing. I've got everything set up now. What do you need? I know it's a bother, but I'll need you to bring the necessary materials if you want to upgrade a weapon. There's a shortage of pretty much everything these days. Still, we're better off than most people. You remember that scene we witnessed at the Vestige? That kind of stuff happens every day here. Silva has taken most of the humans who survived under his protection. So revenants are left to rely on blood beads alone to slake their unending thirst. But... Well... Nothing in this world lasts forever. The springs started to dry up, and so blood beads grew rarer and rarer. And the order Silva created by levying and distributing blood beads won't last much longer either. The world needs more blood beads. Only then can we strive for fairness instead of petty favoritism. That's why we've been exploring the Jail of the Mists. We're doing research to learn all we can about blood beads. But the miasma has been a real problem. It makes our thirst even worse, so our progress has stalled. Now, though, we have a glimmer of hope. Your power can clear the miasma. If you could help us... Well, you'd be drawn into a bitter conflict. Still, the truth is, we don't have a lot of hope without you. Will you join us? <sighs> Thank you. 
Thanks. So, it's a done deal? <laughs> well then, from now on, you're one of us. Yakumo Shinonome. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to seeing you in action. Let's get right into it. Here's what's going on. We're studying blood beads and their springs. We want to know how and when blood springs appear, their cycles for producing beads, and the composition of the beads themselves. We've made a few discoveries. First of all, we found that there are tubes like capillaries running through the earth. We call them blood veins. And so far as we can determine, every single blood spring is located on top of one of these blood veins. Also, after comparing blood beads and blood veins, we now know that they are mostly comprised of the same substances. In other words, we can safely assume that blood springs always form along blood veins. We think that means there must be a source somewhere. A kind of headwaters for the blood beads. Now that we have you around to clear the miasma, we can investigate the springs and follow the blood veins. And hopefully, find the source. Right? We want to check out the old city ruins first. Sorry for the rush, but we should head out as soon as you're ready. Another day together. Oh, you're exploring this area too? I'm a merchant of sorts. I wander around selling valuables as I explore. The miasma has gotten pretty thin here lately, eh? I thought it might be dangerous, but I came all the same. I haven't seen a fellow explorer for a while, though. I think we were fated to meet. I'll be around here for a while. If you want to buy anything, let me know. As you travel around, you might find a collection even so remember to look. You have to take whatever you can use. This way leads into the old city. Map of the Depths. Let's take it to Davis. Up ahead, this is really it. That's something. <laughs> Expectations exceeded. That settles it. You are absolutely vital to our operation. There are more blood springs ahead, but the miasma is blocking the way forward. 
Do you think you could clear it for us again? Thank you. We know where two springs are thanks to past expeditions. Let's go have a look at them. The territory up ahead is teeming with the lost. Watch yourself. better place to fight. So, this is what you'd call a ghost town. There's no one in it. No harm to be there. hiding spots among these vehicles.
prepared for an ambush. Careful from here on. Look at me, be threatened by a little boy. Hey, what is it? You okay? Yo, Louie. You smell that? Yeah. Human blood. An escapee? Now where did she run off to? Huh? <laughs> hey chumps! What the hell are you doing here? None of your business. Oh really? Then tell me this. Why would scum like you have the sweet stink of a human on ya? The girl belongs to us. Put your paws on our property and your ash. That clear? <sighs> Fresh blood is some powerful stuff. You hanging in there? So, what's the plan now? We know it's just a matter of time until they find that missing human. You know the plan. Hell yeah. Let's hope she hasn't been devoured by horrors yet. made ladder. We won't let it go to waste. We're right in the middle of the skyscraper. Bring it any Take whatever you can use. Stand out like a sword.
taking thralls on a walk, huh? Open it up and see, shall we? You got a fork. Which way will it be? Decision is yours. Something we can use? Dog food before they can even display. Real gem.
Okay, that's one fight down. Keep your eyes open on the way down. You afraid of heights? Keep your eyes on your feet. Time to steal ourselves and hop down, huh? Just cut straight through the mist. I'll take a bit more than that to keep us from getting lost. Let's take a break here. Oh, this? It's called onigiri. It's a kind of food that's easy to carry around. Not that there's any point in eating food for a revenant. Although we may thirst for blood, we never grow hungry. Still, I think that makes eating all the more meaningful for us. We fight. We drink blood. We revive. We fight some more. Our lives are pretty much one endless loop. But every time you go around, you almost forget that we were all human once. 
If I completely lost the memory of my human past, I wouldn't be me anymore. I would just be... something in the shape of me. I'd look like a revenant, but on the inside I'd be no different than the lost. What's the point of living like that? I served in the army. Back before I became a revenant, we always used to eat these things when we were out on missions. I guess... It helps me remember. It was a miserable time. But I made some good friends that I shouldn't let myself forget. This stuff doesn't really taste that great. But eating it always reminds me of those friends. So, I guess you could say it helps me stay me. It's been an important companion in my life. Okay, all set. Come on, let's get going. There's a blood spring up ahead. Be careful not to lose your bearings, all right? If we get split up in this mist, we may never be able to find each other again. safe for now at least. <laughs> 